I mean, if you look at something like, take the iPhone as an example, back when this came out, when this kind of phone was new and innovative in the market, what was it that made it such a runaway success? Despite the fact that later on, other phones came out into the market that had better specs, better tech, better cameras, better this and that and the other. Well, it was Steve Jobs' articulation of the idea behind the iPhone. It was the idea that was compelling, that we can have a phone and a music player and a calculator and a internet browser and all that packaged up into one device that you can put in your pocket. That was a compelling idea. It was an irresistible idea people latched onto and the iPhone stole all this market share and just dominated the market in those early days and they still do to a certain extent because of the idea. The idea was so compelling. Well, you need to look at your service, your offer, your business and ask yourself, how compelling are my ideas? If you're just saying what everybody else in the market is saying and you sound like everybody else, you're gonna be treated like everybody else. The reality is that you live and die by your ideas. If your ideas are unique and they're distinct and they're innovative, they're gonna get people's attention. If they're anything but those things, they're gonna get ignored.